Hi, Marla Brodsky, Candler Fan Pagers! So, today on A Piece of Marla's Mind, I would like to talk about drunk dialing. Now, I remember back in my day, way years back, like, if you would go out partying with your friends and you would be drinking, like, you would, before you went out, before you even went out, you would say to them, okay, whatever you do, if I get drunk, don't let me call so-and-so. Like, that was the thing. Like, you would make sure you did not pick up the phone when you got home and dial and go off on this person or profess your love or say what's been bothering you. Like, that was, like, the worst fear that you would start drunk dialing everyone you know, especially the boys that you liked, right? Yeah. But then it became the fact of like, now it was easy to do like drunk texting. And it's like, oh my God, one more thing you have to worry about. You don't even have to make it home to use a telephone. You have the phone right with you handy dandy. But now you could drunk Facebook message. You could drunk like Friendster. You could drunk Tinder. You could drunk Match.com. You have all of these apps and all of these things that you could drunk Twitter Vine, make videos, post them on YouTube while you're completely hammered, and you're like, oh my God, who's going to protect you now? It's way too easy access. And when you're all muffled and like suddenly you wake up the next morning and you're like, why is there a naked picture of me on the web? Well, that's a little thing we like to call Jack Daniels. Thank you, Jack. So for everybody out there that likes to go out and get their party on and post their pictures on Instagram and have a good time, just remember, friends do not only let friends not drunk dial and drunk text, but friends do not let friends drunk social network. And that was a piece of Marla's mind. Bye!